Hey, welcome to my vlog and review for round nine of the 2017 MotoGP season, the historic Satsen ring in beautiful Germany. This is the final race before the summer break, so let's see if these kids can behave themselves on the last day of school. P1, Mark Marquez. It was only three rounds ago in Mugello that Marquez was down by 37 points, and it seemed like his championship hopes were going down the tubes like a fat kid on a water slide. But since Italy, Marquez has put in three solid podium performances and pulled himself back to the top of the championship standings. And I think this situation with Marquez being able to come back from such a big deficit so quickly sums up the first half of the 2017 season. You know, a few years ago, if you had a 37-point deficit only a third of the way into the season, you would have been praying for a small miracle to pull yourself back into championship contention. And yet this 2017 MotoGP season has been up and down like a light switch so far, and Marquez was able to do it in only three races, which, from a spectator's point of view, makes the racing so much more exciting to watch, but I'm sure from the team's point of view, it makes it just that much more stressful. Marquez's main rival for the win was none other than Tech 3's Jonas Folger, the loco yokel here in Germany. Luckily for Marquez, he holds on for the win. He takes the championship lead away from Davizioso. He's five points ahead of Vinales. And I'm sure Marquez is going to be all smiles going into the summer break and probably a little bit surprised that he's actually leading the championship considering how far behind he was and how much of a bit of a rough season he had starting off the 2017 campaign. Either way, he's now going to be solely focused on the second half of the season and see if he can get back-to-back -back championship wins for the first time in his career. P2, Jonas Folger. Not to be outdone by his teammate Zarco's second place finish at his home race in France, Folger gets his own second place finish at his home race in Germany to the delight of the German fans who were cheering him on lap after lap for the entire race. And Folger was really ratcheting up the pressure on Marquez for pretty much the entire race. He even led the race for five laps near the beginning until he went wide at the end of the straight and Marquez took it back. But Folger was less than a second behind Marquez for pretty much the entire race. And one small mistake out of Marquez and Folger could have easily won this. Either way, that second place podium finish at his home race in front of his home fans has got to feel great. It's certainly going to give him a little more confidence. And with the second place, he takes second in the independent championship away from Petrucci, right behind his teammate Zarco. And I've said it before, Hervé Poncherel must be smiling so wide he could eat a banana sideways because he has really struck gold with Zarco and Folger on the Tech 3 team this year. I can't wait to see how they're going to do in the second half of the season. They're adding so much entertainment value with these great finishes and these podium positions. Awesome for Tech 3 and great for the competition. P3, Danny Pedrosa puts that second factory Honda on the podium alongside his teammate and keeps his head above water in the championship. Pedrosa had a bit of a lonely race, although he was never any lower than third for the entire race. But with this third place finish, number 26 goes into the summer break, only 26 points behind his teammate Marquez in the lead. Normally a big deficit, but all Pedrosa has to do is look across the garage at his teammate Marquez, who was 37 points behind only three races ago, to know that he is still fully in this championship. I've said it before, I'd love to see Pedrosa win a championship. I don't know if he's going to do it, but the way this season's going, everybody's up and down race by race. He certainly has just as much chance as any of the other top five guys. P4, Maverick Vinales. Vinales spent the first 10 laps of this race stuck in 10th place like a, well, like a fat kid in a water slide. Luckily, he got his feet back underneath him in the middle part of the race and managed to claw his way back up, ultimately holding off his teammate Rossi for this fourth place position. Vinales started this season really strong and some people thought he was going to walk away with this championship. And while he's clearly not going to walk away with it, he still has every chance of winning it. He goes into the summer break only five points behind Marquez, one point ahead of Davizioso. And I'm sure he's going to be looking at the second half of the season to consolidate more wins and try and take his shot at his first championship win. P5, Valentino Rossi. Rossi had a rough weekend with numerous technical breakdowns out on track, costing him not only valuable track time to set up his bike for the race, but probably a little bit of his sanity, wondering if he was going to have a technical issue during the race. 
Luckily for him, it didn't happen, and he locked down a solid fifth place finish. And although Marquez Pedrosa and Vinales all finished ahead of him, the championship leader Davizioso was behind him in eighth place, meaning that the doctor goes into the summer break only 10 points down on Marquez in the lead. Is the doctor going to be able to lock down a historic 10th championship win? It's anybody's guess, but going into the summer break only 10 points down on the championship leader certainly puts him in a great position to do so, and I'm sure he's going to be looking at the second half of the season to give it his all and make it happen. P6, Alvaro Bautista. Bautista rounds out the top six on that stylish-looking Pullen Bear Aspar Ducati, and not for the first time this year. He got a 4th in Argentina, a 5th in Italy, and a 7th in Catalonia. It seems like when he's not sliding through the gravel trap, Bautista is nailing those top 6 finishes pretty consistently. I'd say he's had a great start to this first half of the season, and I can't wait to see if he's going to keep it up through the second half of the 2017 season. So that wraps up my vlog and review for round 9 of the 2017 MotoGP season. Only 10 points separating Marquez, Vinales, Davizioso, and Rossi. This championship's all bunched up like grandma's underpants. And don't forget, the next race, August 6th, Bruno, the beautiful Czech Republic. Leave me a comment, leave me a like, let me know what you think, and let's look forward to more MotoGP.